Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to replace a CMOS battery. Uh, if you get an error message when you start up your computer and it says uh, something like set date and time um, or check CMOS, then this is what you're going to need to replace. There are many different kinds of them, so just make sure you get the correct one. There's a plethora of them on eBay, um, so they shouldn't be too difficult to locate. Um, some models will have the CMOS battery right under the keyboard, which is really convenient, while others will not. So if it's right under the keyboard, um, it's going to be pretty easy for you. You just need to remove the keyboard first. Most models will have a small little bezel on top like this, um, and then you will just remove the keyboard. Okay. So some will have it uh, in here somewhere. This one does not, so we're going to have to go ahead and open it up to get to the motherboard level. Um, what you're going to need to do is remove these screws on the bottom of the laptop. And once you've removed all the screws on the bottom, you can flip it over and you will be able to uh, gently remove the palm rest area. This one has a couple more screws on the top side that you need to remove. Okay. You just pry up on the sides. It's a lot easier if you have like a fingernail that you can just kind of use the pry with. Now this model um, is kind of unique. I haven't seen a lot of these that have a uh, protective cover on some of the openings. Uh, what you're going to do for this, I just use a pick and just go in at an edge like this so that I can peel it off. Okay. And this allows you access to the connections that you're going to need. Um, that we can get to this, uh, actually finish taking off this palm rest. Okay, now this requires a special tool. Um, there are a couple things you can do with it. Uh, you can either get the tool that requires this screw. Uh, again, this is pretty unique. Um, or you can just reach under here 
and just pry off this thing. Just be careful with it. Um, and that will give you access to these um, two Wi-Fi connections that you need to just pop, pop right out. Okay? So once you have that done, you can go ahead and finish uh, lifting it up. You can flip it around. Uh, let me see if I can get this in the video. On this model, it's, um, there's a little piece back here that you just lift up and it pop right out. section just come right off okay and once you are here um, it was this is the CMOS battery here okay unfortunately they have placed the connector on the bottom side underneath um, underneath the motherboard so we are going to have to remove the motherboard for this uh, it's pretty simple um, just couple more screws. Gently ease it out of its casing now. Don't pull hard on it, or else it will. Yeah, I should note this before you pull this out. Um, it's usually a good idea to remove your hard drive and optical drive. But once you have those removed, you can go ahead and just kind of get a corner of it, and lift it up and out. Uh, it's a terrible idea to do this on carpet or something like this actually you want to get a hard surface but I don't have an open one right now uh, anyway when you flipped it over um, you'll notice that right here let's see if I can get this on the camera so that's that's the header right there you can go ahead and just pull it out and then just put it back in it only goes in one way so don't try and force it in um, but it'll only go in one way. And then once you've got the battery replaced, you can go ahead and flip it over and start reassembling everything.